Mom was looking for comfort after the death of her 11-year-old son, and now we're told there's even more heartbreak after buying a puppy from a Tyler pet store. KDK's Annalise Coble shares that story. After Josiah Holman died unexpectedly, his mother hoped adding a puppy to their family would help them heal. But instead, he threw up the first night we got him. He was throwing up, mm -hmm. and we was giving him everything we could. I mean, he's been on all kind of antibiotics. <laughs> She's already spent over fifteen hundred dollars in vet bills. This is a family who's recently suffered a tragic loss, uh, and they bought this puppy as a healing. Uh, mechanism for their family and it's turned into another tragedy and extreme financial burden. According to the SBCA of East Texas, this isn't a first for Petland and Tyler. In fact, after a visitor at the store snapped this picture of what she thought was an underfed boxer back in November, the SPCA asked people to come forward with any other stories of neglect. At this point now, we have a huge case file that we've built, and the, the complaints are continuing to come in now daily, sometimes more than one a day. We contacted the shop, and they sent us this statement. Attached, you will find initial health exam done on the puppy that Tanisha Holman purchased. Under no circumstance, we do not sell unhealthy pet. Our licensed vet determines and clears for sell of any pet. The SPCA says they just want to see a law enacted to prevent the sell of these types of puppies. There is a, a floodgate of puppy mill, but we believe well documented puppy mill puppies coming into our communities that we know are not healthy. Many of them are are very, very sick and don't survive. Dobbs says to keep in mind, a lot of dollars does not equal a great pet or a healthy one. Annalise Coble, KETK News. And for the entire statement and a copy of the initial checkup report Petland sent to us, please go to our website, EastTexasMatters.com.